Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitching and Bordering Design. I'm going to show you how to use the new custom border feature in So What Pro. It's really great, and uh, as of uh, this video, uh, Steve Hirschman is also working on adding a bean stitch to it. Right now we have a running stitch and a satin stitch, so he's going to add a bean stitch feature in the future, hopefully soon. I've uh, got a design up here that I want to add a border to. And what I want to do first is I would like to rotate the design. So I'm going to select it. And when you click it like this, it selects the entire design. And I want to rotate it. So I go up here to the menu bar and I click rotate. I click it once. And I want to rotate it again. Okay, I've got the way I want it. And if you ever notice here to the left to rotate, if you want to, you can rotate in like increments of 10 or 1 if you just want to rotate a little tiny bit. Or if you want to rotate, you can also select the screen button here, little dot, and hold down your left mouse button and you can move it around. But right now we're not going to do that. I'm going to just hit the undo button and get it the way I want it. There it is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So I'm going to click the little zoom button here, the plus sign. That gives me a little better area to work with. So I want to add a satin border to this. So let's see how well I can do this. So you have to have a design up on the screen before this custom border option will be available. So I go up here to the menu bar and I left click add border. And I don't want to add a boarding, I mean a running outline. I want to add a satin outline. I'm going to do that and click custom border. And if you don't have a design up on the screen, this will not be available. It will be grayed out. So I'm going to left click this. Okay, and now this is grayed out because I haven't selected anything yet. So it says left click points for the border, right click to remove last point. So I can left click, and if I right click, see it removes it, erases in case you've made a mistake. So let's right click on all those and get rid of them. So I think I'm going to just follow this outline here, create my satin border. I think I'll start at the bottom. So if there's a join, it won't show. I'm going to click here. Just click around here to outline it. I'm going to just follow the outline. I'm using my laptop, so I'm not using my mouse, so bear with me here. I've got a tablet also. I haven't tried it with the tablet. Still clicking slowly. And if he ever um, adds the bean stitch on this, which will be nice, you could always create a bean stitch to put on top of the satin stitch later. Or if you wanted to, this outline that's already on this princess design. You could use that as a bean stitch. Just uh, stitch it twice maybe. Let's see. So clicking. Here we go. We're almost there. Here we are. Okay, they're all joined now. And then go up here and create stitch border. Let's see what we've got. Ta da! There it is. It looks like I was a little sloppy where I joined my points there. But we can always fix that too. So let's zoom in a little bit. Looks pretty good. I should have probably made the satin stitch a little bit wider. And what you can do is, uh, let's click border again so I can show you. Add border. 
we're going to do a satin outline. So we're going to make our uh, satin thickness a little bit bigger this time. Let's make it 30. See how that looks when we do that. Uh, just for giggles, let's do 35. Just to really make an impact to show you this. Okay, create 35 for my border thickness. Click custom border. Okay, let's click around again. And if you wanted to make a patch out of this, you could use, um, and if you want to really be a good recycler, uh, you could repurpose an old pair of jeans. You could cut out a piece of a leg. And just to practice uh, making a patch, use that as your um, applique fabric. There you go. We've got it here again. And stitch on it. Or you can get some twill fabric or like a canvas and stitch on it. And uh, you could put this on uh, some Badge Master stabilizer. It's a real thick water soluble stabilizer. And after you stitch it, I would use two um, layers of it and hoop it. And then after you stitch this, uh, it'll all rip apart off of it. So all you'll have left is your um, fabric on there. It'll look really good. So it has a nice clean edge. Okay, let's click stitch the uh, border. Left click that. There we go. And see the difference? Because this time we did it with a larger uh, satin width. So it's uh, 35 this time. Look at this. And I've got the view texture on. Let's see. If you turn it off, you can see your stitch points. These look a little rough. We'll see how they look if we stitch it out. You can zoom in even more uh, if you go into view. And click your stitch points, those all show up, and then click the little zoom tool here. Sometimes you have to move the slider to see better. See how you can see your stitch points? They look pretty good on here. As they get bigger, if you do, I did sharp angles, so that's why we got this. Uh, usually in digitizing, they will um, split the corners just to make it look nice. What you could do is, let's see, go up here to edit, you split pattern, and then go to split it stitch. And you can actually add some stitches. Click on one of these stitches here. You can do insert. You can add some stitches to fill in that space. And if you click this and hold down your control button and then click again, that will move that up there. So you can fill in areas that you uh, might have a gap in. Okay, I click this again, move this up here, and see what we're doing? We're taking that uh, little gap out of the corner there. And then uh, click close to lock it in. And then we're still in the split pattern, so we want to close that again. And you can move these around and make it look prettier, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So click close. Oh, and if there's something you don't like, you want to get rid of it, just click the eraser tool. And I'm hoping eventually we'll have a round eraser tool or be able to select the point or the shape of it. And say, for instance, you didn't like this little spot here going to the P too much. You could always erase that. First, though, you need to click just that shape. This little end here. I don't like it going into that. This is just for uh, 
display. Okay. And then click the eraser tool and then click close. And if you don't like what you just did, I'm going to leave it back the way it was. Go up here to the undo button. You need to go here. We can go to edit and click undo. Or control Z, that's your shortcut key. Right now I'm going to just click the undo button. And that brought my little design back to the way it was before. Now we've got this. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see what we've got. <laughs> zoom out a little more. So now we're using the minus key. And since it's off the screen, you're going to take the slider and hold down the left mouse button. Go, go to the right slider. I'm going to move this over so we can see. Now I'm not too crazy about this now. So what we need to do is this was our last color. Let's move this back over. That's something I'd like to see change too. Steve Hirschman, if you're watching this, um, I hate the way this pops up right here. Okay. Okay, I don't want this anymore, so I can select this. I've got just the border selected. And right click on it. And see how you've got delete thread? Just click it, and that's gone. We've got our new border here that we had. And here's the old one that was there first. So if we want to make it look like it's got a bean stitch on top of it, we could change the um, position of the stitches. So what we can do is we can hold down the uh, hold down the shift key, hold our left mouse button, and then just drag this up. And that'll change the position. Now see this stitch is first, and then the top color there stitches last. Let's make it red so we can see better. There, you can kind of see it, especially if you zoom in. And I've got texture off. See, right now we can see the stitches still. So you can go up here to view and turn off the stitch points. It, you know, it doesn't really make any difference, but it will put extra dots in. Okay, hit texture. Now it looks like a real simulation again. And you can see the stitching on top. <clears throat> And then, like I said, if you wanted to fix this, you could always go back in to uh, View, turn off the texture, turn on the stitch points. We'll zoom in. Slide over here to where we can see it. I see how that's a little bit off. So what we could do is zoom in just a little bit more. And we can go into Edit and Split Pattern for Alt and the letter S. Hold down the Alt key and the letter S at the same time. And I still need to zoom in a little bit more. It just makes it easier to give you more control. So you can see the stitches better. See how we can see the stitch points? If we go up to View and click this again, see how stitch points is selected? So you can't actually see the little dots for the stitch points. Let's go back, turn them back on again. There we go. And that makes it easier to edit the design. So let's scroll down so we can see this. There we go. Now what we can do is we can uh, select points. So let's see. You can cut the pattern and you can move it. So you can go like this. We've got that now. So then we can hit select cut pattern that's active now. Before it was grayed out because we didn't have anything selected. So when you click it, you have all these options. So we're going to keep all our sections here. So we're going to do cut and save all. Left click it. There it is. Now if you look down here, after you click close, You now have a separate section. And you can move it down just a little bit. See how it's lining up? If you need to, you can rotate it a little bit to make it blend in there. 
and this is the easiest way and you can scoot it over just a little bit and since there isn't much let's see, let's move it over here so you can move it like this or if that was too much you can hold the control key down while it's selected and then hit your left arrow button and it will nudge it so just a little tiny bit that's all it really needs Maybe just a little bit more to the right and see it looks like it was meant to be that way and if you zoom out It's looking pretty good. And you don't notice that gap anymore. We'll zoom out again. Keep zooming out. There we go. And then go back to view and texture or control in the letter T. It's our shortcut. Here we go. We've got that simulation again. And I'm not too crazy about the dots on there. So let's right click to remove the thread. Because I had that selected before too. Right click on it. My computer's moving slow today. I don't want to see a stitch histogram. I get some way. There we go. Now it's responding. I think uh, I was doing so much to it, it was lagging. Okay, let's, now let's delete that red thread that I'm trying to get rid of. See, that happens to me too. Sometimes so it probably will get a little hiccup. And if you look at it now, you don't really see any gap there. It looks really good. And you can go into the edit stitching and you know keep tweaking these. And it's actually really good the way that you can edit these stitch points. I really like that. So let's save our design. And what I do is I'll do save as since this is a new version of it. See it says princess slide five inch. What I do is I like to put revised. I'll put REV. And I put border because I added a border. And then I hit enter and save it. And that's all it is. And I hope that you uh, have good luck trying this and you like it as much as I do. Everyone have a great day and thanks for stopping by. Happy embroidering.